Bad things can lead to very good things. How did me losing a job actually lead to me meeting my wife and us having a family? I'll tell you. So many years ago when I was in college, I worked for Sears in Denton, Texas. And as I got further into my college career, my hours became more limited. And one day I came in and Sears just let me go. I was pretty devastated about that. So uh, I actually went and the next job I could find was selling cell phones. So I jumped into a job selling cell phones because I was fired from Sears. Well, my cell phone jobs ended up leading to me joining a fraternity. One of the guys at the company that I worked with by the name of Mark Seda uh, introduced me to uh, a fraternity and I joined a fraternity. Well, I promise I'm going somewhere with this. So from being in the fraternity, I actually uh, had a date lined up with another gal, not Laura, <laughs> and uh, that gal stood me up. So I was really bummed and sad about that. So you're noticing a pattern here, two, uh, two letdowns. So uh, I didn't want to sit home and be sad about being stood up for a date. So what did I do? I went to an event that the fraternity had put on. Well, there was a beautiful girl there, which is now my wife, Laura, and uh, to give things away. <laughs> and I had so much courage uh, because I had been stood up and the girl who stood me up because she hadn't studied was actually there at the event with another guy. And I'm not gonna say any names here. So anyway, uh, I had courage from that rejection and I actually went up to the beautiful girl on the bar, bar stool and I introduced myself, which I'll be honest, I didn't normally have that much courage uh, with girls uh, in college. So anyway, um, Laura didn't have a whole lot to say that day, but a month or two later, uh, we actually had an event with the sorority that Laura was in and Laura came up to me and she said, do you remember me? And I said, of course I do. And she says, well, I had a boyfriend back then, but I don't now. <laughs> So I thought I would play it cool. And I said, well, I tell you what, you know what, I'll, I'll give you my number and you know, you can bring some friends because uh, my roommates and I are having a party on Friday night. And again, I was trying to not show my hand. I was trying to play it as cool as possible. So I gave Laura my number. Uh, I went home and I woke up my roommates and I said, guys, we're having a party Friday night. Thank you.